model BMW M4 Coupe. This is a G82 model. This is a body kit uh, designed, customized for this Alpha model kit. You will see in this video how it's built, how it's primed. Let's see together. On every scale models, regardless of plastic or resin, you have to sand this down a little bit. I did not find any major challenges on the body, but some resin parts I have found. Also the panel lines, uh, you need to a little bit tighten. Give some weight to the lines, especially the fuel cap, around the fuel cap also, you need to think on that to be realistic the model. I use this scratcher tool for that. For every resin kit, resin molded kit, it's better if you wash it before painting, so I used IPA alcohol. This is, uh, if I remember, 99% IPA, same that you can use for 3D printing. Just a small bath, give it to it. If you don't use this method, you can also use some soap or you can use some dishwasher soaps. The point is that uh, uh, the paint needs to be able to stick to the surface. This body kit uh, made available by Pixel Sun. He is a 3D modeler artist and put available not just for this alpha model kit, other kits, other alpha model kits or non alpha model kits, any custom parts, wheels, rims. This body kit includes the front, rear, ductile, left, right, uh, bottom spoilers. I use Cheetah Box uh, for slicing. I added all parts, angel and orientation based on your printer. I put to the description an angel orientator method and tool how to make it so you can cheat from it. The front fenders, spoilers, left and right. The front rear spoiler. You need to make sure you put an orientation for the supports just approaching from bottom of the surface. And if you will cut these supports, it won't be visible. So that's the trick. The rear left and right spoilers. And the bottom spoilers, you have two from each. Some left and right bottom ones. Before you uh, slicing, you hollowing the mesh.
add some supports. I used uh, medium standard support, just a little bit uh, lifted up, not to be close to the surface. It's showing that uh, a decent printing time, for example, any cubic uh, photon M5 12K printer. In the reality, it's a bit longer. And also, think on that, consider that uh, it's part of a project. So, if you print it out and something goes wrong during removing the support or sending, better if you have uh, backup pieces from the major parts. So, I have duplicated the parts that I was needed. Rearranged and uh, used the remaining space for spare parts, especially the thin elements, the fragile thin elements. Printed with my Anycubic Photon M5 printer came out pretty well. I use standard resin, the white one. The white one benefits from uh, priming later, so you can prime with grey very well. It was not any special resin, came out, came out right. No issues, no surface issues I found. Stick to the build plate. Generally I use the calibration, I used I hate uh, 20 micron, so 0 0.2 uh, millimeter height. It's a precise printing. I used uh, any cubic version Cure Max machine with standard 50 minutes program. The only trick that uh, after the IPA wash, I do an extra wash by removing out from the machine and put back. Here are the prints, came out well. And uh, let's see, ready to build, remove the support. This stage is critical, you need to carefully remove, don't cut the material, otherwise you will need to fix it. That is why you have backup pieces if something goes wrong. You have two options to remove the support after the curing or before the curing. I like after the curing because the support reserves the shape the element for the curing time much better. You need to be very careful with the small pieces, not to overcut the support. You can see the small edges, small wings in the spoiler. Sanding. I use the small sanding machine with replaceable heads. This machine sanding speeded up the process instead of hand sanding.
During the sending, you will see the support removal, remaining parts, some missing materials, don't overthink. Send as deep you can, but this won't be a visible part of the model. You can also uh, send this down with Dremel rotation uh, sender and sender pads further. The ductile is so uh, thin, you need to extreme careful. So I used uh, one smaller sender machine, which is just a 5mm diameter sender, rotation scan, uh, sender. You need to make sure send it to fit in properly to the resin alpha model kit. This preparation consumes some time. Some checks, fitting nice. Found some scratches on the factory resin spoiler. Removed as much as possible, and additionally had to cut out some space to fit to the body. It did not fit by design. I made a test setup. Uh, I put masking material, fluid masking material, to the parts, and uh, this stick to the body. This is the removable fluid masking soil. Not harmful, anytime removable. I use this material for fitting tests. I had to put these elements on before I could put on the rear front spoilers. Spoiler 
assignment. It's fitting nice. And this masking material sticking into it for checks. Some adjustments needed for the left and right front spoilers to fit properly to the body without any extra space. I temporarily glued with this fluid masking material. Just to make sure I'm just fitting for temporary checks, not for final. For final glue it with an instant glue. Only instant glue is sticking properly the resin. Some surface adjustments with putty. I did see on the edges some adjustment needs. The rear spoilers. fitting spoiler before I could build up the bottom rear spoilers the left and right spoilers put on without issues If you're prototyping, this helps you how the final look and feel will happen. Also, it's useful for the wheels, the brakes, the wheel hub. You can use the same material for prototyping. Just temporarily glue to it. It's easily removable without any issues. Don't worry on that. This is a Valayo liquid mask. The model is in the description. So, since the body kit is on, you need to think this is a wider shape. So you need to put the wheels wider. So I closed the original wheel hub holes with these plastics and I will attach the wheel to that. After you done with the majority of the spoilers, you can remove this masking soil attached parts. You can see it's removing pretty easily, it's forgiving, not sticking onto the material, like a small silicone. With some pencil, I have uh, contour the panels, the spoiler panels, to be easier to glue back with uh, some instant glue.
you work with instant glue, you need to be careful about the cure time. It's very short. You don't have too much time to adjust, so that is why you have to draw earlier. If you use other glues, that's also fine, but instant glue is the best. It's sticking to the surface. It's thinning to the surface, flattening to the surface. Much easier to work with and forgiving it, stick to it. Especially with these spoilers. It's filled out the gaps, it stick to the body without any issues. You need to send from the wheel spacers, the wheel hub spacers to fit properly under the body and the body kit. You can decide uh, how deep you put the wheel, how deep you lower in the car. It's based on your favor. After the main modifications done, you need to consider to remove again the dust. I used isopropyl IPA alcohol again. The seats required some fix and sanding on the bottom. And before you fully finish the surface before priming, this is the last moment to a little bit engrave carve out uh, from the original wheel cover, the wheel size. If you're lowering the car, you need to have space for the wheel. It's better now instead of after priming and painting. I use the Tamiya sand for painting. I use the Mr. Hobby Mr. Color 1000 grit uh, surfacer. This 1000 grit surfacer also recommended for resin parts, resin printing parts, and pretty much uh, not just the grid size is the matter, so pretty much came out well, stick to the surface, flattened out. I used Mr. Hobby Mr. Color level link thinner. Leveling thinner helps you to flatten out the surface without any issues. You can use also the leveling thinner for priming, not just for uh, further painting the body. Also in one, two coats, it's pretty forgiving. You see now the rough surfaces, but the leveling thinner and the curing is helping to flatten out. It's completely flattening out after. You don't need to worry about it. Also the parts, the spoilers. I painted with the same. Mr. Ruby, Mr. Color 1000 surfacer.
you need to make sure you find the right ratio about the thinning condition you can thin with 50 50 percentage this mr robin mr color paints with leveling thinner you need to make sure you're not over spray i used the 0.5 nozzle links in the description for the airbrush i used the less than 20 psi between 15 20 psi the air pressure I used air exchange system getting out the sprayed and painted air from the surface from the area I used 3M respirators while I was painting goggles gloves so for solvent based paints and primers you have to use this uh, health and safety equipment and the body I used uh, two major coats for the body with this base primer until it's not covering fully the surface it's pretty much equally covered the uh, resin molded and resin printed parts both the yellow is the resin molded factory parts the white were the resin printed parts you should not over spray you should not spend too much time with the painting in this stage you need to make sure one or two layers paint getting into the surface after that you can put uh, lighter uh, surfacer primers higher grit uh, and higher ranges of specification smaller particle size that means this thousand has larger particle size and uh, this recommended also for resin based uh, models pretty much forgiving giving a nice smooth surface The second coat at the priming stage getting the best out from the shape you remember the base body was yellow the 3d printed parts were white and the gray primer is pretty much visible on both the yellow and both the white that is why I like the gray resin primers you can use other colors as well here you go here is the result pretty much happy we will need to send down and further continue on the next episode